It is McKee Masters, technically Monday on Thursday. I appreciate you guys' uh, patience. Um, had a lot of things happen over the last week or so that uh, I did not foresee and had made no provision for, but I guess that's a good training uh, opportunity to always be looking over your shoulder. I've discussed it on YouTube, the whole VA thing. I will not bore you with any more, but we are working the details out day by day. Um, going to take you someplace today that's a little bit darker, but it's relevant. And I think for you guys, for the master's level, the top level, this is something that warrants it. We've talked about this topic before, binary thinking. It seems pretty innocuous, <clears throat> but it can have some devastating, devastating effects when you are attempting to manipulate people. When you can make somebody to believe that one option is so bad and so terrible that it would destroy everything they know, the other option, no matter how horrible it is, will always be the default. And if you can get people into a state of mind where they are always thinking in A, or B, with no option C, then you can control them. Two options is always one option. It just depends on which direction you want to manipulate them. Now, what I want to do is show you guys a clip. This is from Next Generation, Star Trek Next Generation. It is called, let's see, what episode was it? The episode was called Chain of Command Part 2. Uh, the leader of the Enterprise, John Luke Picard, um, gets kidnapped, and he's under interrogation by Cardassian, who's using a very familiar technique here. And what he has done is he has put five lights above Mr. Picard over the last, I don't know how long this was, days, weeks, and asked him, how many lights do you see? And every time he were... No, excuse me, he put four lights up and asked him, how many lights do you see? And even though there were only four, the interrogator kept telling Mr. Picard that the answer was five. And every time he didn't say five, he would punish him with something else, even though there were only four. This is how you can break somebody. Now, when you watch this, when it's in a one-on-one -on -one situation like this, it's pretty stomach-turning. This is obviously a TV show, but if you were ever to see it in real life, it is to see somebody so mentally broken this way. But when you see it done to a large group of people, you don't react nearly as badly to it. Like they say, one person dying is a tragedy. Um, 5,000 dying is a statistic. So anyway, we'll play this one minute clip real quick. This is your last chance. The guards are coming. Don't be a stubborn fool. So what he did was he finally got to the end here and he never broke that he still, you know, insisted that there were four lights because there were. Now, later on in the show, I couldn't find the clip. He actually admits um, during a psychiatric section that at that last moment, he actually did see five lights, even though only four were there. And that goes to the power of psychological operations. It goes to the state of mind you can put somebody in. And that's why I try not to get completely overly upset with the people who support the current administrator because they have been subjected to a very intense um, barrage 
of psychological operations for a very, very long time. Many people have fallen for this. This is, of course, Heaven Ga Heaven's Gate, the large group of people that all committed suicide. And there has been this study that has been coming out re recently in the mainstream media about the mass delusion we are living under. No matter which side you would choose, whether you're choosing the left and you believe Trump is the source of all evil and terrible and horrible and antichrist and all this stuff, or if you're the right and you believe the other person was that, and there's some people that believe that no matter who it was, that's all antichrist and, and you know everything's a false flag and all this, and it's becoming more and more prevalent than it used to be. It used to be fringe, and now it's gone mainstream. See, the definition of a delusion is convincing oneself that a belief is true when there's no proof for it. And in fact, there is circumstantial evidence against it. It is deceiving the mind and judgment thereof. And this is exactly what's happened with the current leader. That there is an emotional belief that he is ABCXYZ because people online that have created emotional bonds with their audience, primarily on YouTube, and online, I guess in general, with Breitbart and Fox, that emotional bond, that emotional connection is more important than the truth. It has superseded the truth. And if they were to call these people out for their lies, they would be risking that emotional attachment. That's why this binary thinking thing is so critical for them. They always have to keep people thinking, well, you can agree with us, because the only two choices are us and them. I haven't seen this cult level since the days of Ruby Ridge, the Branch Davidians. These people and what they believed about the government is not very much different than what you see all over YouTube now. It's just the numbers are far higher. You know, there was all sorts of stuff put out about uh, Koresh and what was going on here and what may have been true, what may not have been true. But of course, everybody just saw the giant inferno created by that compound. And it's, of course, the idea here was that either you were a Branch Davidian or you were for the IRS. Those were your two choices. You were either backing the government, backing the actions of the BATF and the IRS, and you thought they were righteous and good, or you thought the Branch Davidians were righteous and good, when neither was the case. This is how dangerous it can get. And this is what I wanted to show here at the end. When this was the case, and people believed this was the case, this was the actual truth. This was the truth they saw. Even though they walked into a booth where they had this many choices, they only saw this. It's the definition of delusion. And that's why I started with the there are four lights thing. Because in this case, there were four lights and through psychological manipulation and careful mental manipulation, people only saw this. That was the truth. And this was the eventuality. That because one over here on the left was so evil, so terrible, so horrible, even if that were the, the truth, this wasn't the only other option. Even when you could present clear, undeniable, factual evidence that they were much more alike than they were different. And that you had two other options. People were still focused in. They needed to maintain the emotional connection to their belief system. And that's the dangerous part of what's going on right now. The emotional connection to knowledge to beliefs, that what I believe defines me, what I, the actions I take 
in support of that belief define me. It's a very, very frightening thing to see happen to tens of millions of people. This is why I preach on binary operations, availability heuristic, causation, correlation, cognitive dissonance, everything that we've taught. Because it has real world implications. In fact, right now, it's driving the world. Forget implications. These logic fallacies now have become mainstreamed. And we are in a very tough place right now. Because when the midterms hit, one of two things is going to be true. Either there'll be a blue wave or a red wave. But the truth will be the perception of how that's interpreted by those who are on one side or the other. When the case will be that a reaffirmation of the Republicrat dynasty will just have occurred. Instead of being punched on the right side of the face, we might be punched on the left side of the face. But you're still being punched in the face. That's the truth they don't want you to know. So, I will leave it there, and I will let you guys stew about this, talk about this. Of course, we have in two days the upcoming drawing for the gift cards, $50 every day starting Saturday and running all the way through next year, the 4th. And of course, 28th of January, we're going to 20th of January, listen to me, 28th of December, we are going to be drawing the three big ones, the three $500 gift cards. Um, I sent out a mass uh, message to everyone. Um, talking about basic security, and I will, of course, defer to anyone's desire to remain anonymous, and I would not blame you. We will not be announcing the results on YouTube. The announces, the announcements will only be here, and basically that's just to avoid the trolls, because this was for you guys, not for them. I put it out there to bring more people into the fold, but we're going to post the results here, and hopefully that you know, some people that needed to be blessed will be blessed. So thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.